Hey Tai here, so welcome to the VRTech channel. Here we are back with the Apple Vision Pro because playing games, PC VR games on it just got much easier. We're now just a few clicks away from our full Steam VR library to play with. But why should you do it? Well, because this thing has the best screens on the market right now that you can have on a VR headset. And just the idea of using this for simulators it's glorious, but is it? Also, it's great news because we can finally make it through the analysis video with it, comparing with uh, all the other headsets out there. Hey, let's just go in together in this video. Let's learn how to do it. Let's get into it. All right, let's start right away. What do we need? Well, of course, the Apple Vision Pro and a VR-ready PC are the bases. And if you want the controllers, well, SteamVR controllers, I'm gonna use the Index controllers for this. Two SteamVR dongles or a headset with lighthouse tracking and of course, the lighthouses. So yeah, well, the no controllers part is completely free. Uh, everything could get pretty pricey if you actually want to do it just to play PC VR with it. But hey, we're doing it for science. By the way, in theory, it will be possible to actually use the Quest Pro controllers with it, with some different trickeries, with a program called OTK RA or something like that. But unfortunately, while I'm actually using them with a the big screen beyond, I wasn't able to get it to work with the Vision Pro. I'm troubleshooting on it for about a week and I didn't get to any results. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. Going back, software-wise, is fairly easy because we're just gonna need the LVR Test Fly app on the Vision Pro. To do it, we have to go on the store and look for the Test Fly app. Here we go and install it over there. This is pretty much a beta channel for all the apps that you might want to test. So yeah, we're beta testing over here. But for sure, this is so much better than building the apps from scratches like we were doing before. So shout out to Shiny Quicksire to make this possible. Sir, you're my hero. By the way, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. We're gonna have to open it from the Apple Vision Pro via the browser, as you can see and click just on a start testing and that is gonna appear on our test flight app and we can install it over there. Also because we're here, shout out to Immersive VR, they're testing their app already where we can actually use multiple monitors right now using our PC or our Mac thing that we can't actually do with a native app. So yeah, but anyway, back to ALVR, we're gonna install it, then it's gonna appear in our apps, of course. And as you can see, we're gonna have all the settings and this connection information that we're gonna have to copy to actually connect to our PC. So let's get out of here. On the PC, we need SteamVR installed, but I suppose you have it already. And install the latest ALVR nightly build. I'll leave the link in the description below as well. We have to click on the ALVR streamer window. That's what we need to stream the games from our PC to the Apple Vision Pro. We're not done yet because the secret sauce is actually OpenVR Space Calibrator and I'm gonna leave the link for that as well in the description below. A tool that is gonna enable to use different tracking methods and controllers at the same time and also to calibrate the space to actually have them in the right position. And that is gonna be very important later. Surprisingly, that's about it. It's quite easy, I know. So let's open the ALVR dashboard on the PC. On connection, we have to add client manually and copy the connection that we saw before on the Vision Pro. You can actually do it via the pass-through if that's easier. It's high resolution enough to actually read here. At the point we click on save, launch Steam VR, and in the Apple Vision Pro, we can go back to ALVR. We're gonna find a button with the enter instead of connecting and yeah, we are in, in Steam VR. So now we're ready for our simulators or game that don't require actual VR interaction, but what if we want controllers? Let's get to that. Back to an ALVR dashboard, let's click on settings and let's scroll all the way down till we find controllers. Let's toggle it on so our hand tracking will translate to controllers in Steam VR. We're gonna need that for calibration. At this point, we have two options. If you have two Steam VR dongles, you can use those, or you can use just your index or your Lighthouse Extract headset to actually use it, just a Bluetooth receiver connecting just a USB cable and not the display port. That's really up to you here, but I'm gonna use the dongles, so we see the most difficult part. Let's connect the first dongle. Let's go on the hamburger menu in the Steam VR overlay and let's select devices, then pair controller, select your controller, in my case, 
index, pair it like you will normally do and then close the window. Connect the second dongle and do the same for the second controller. If everything goes accordingly to plan, the lighthouses are gonna actually show up in the overlay and you're gonna have your controllers ready already in ALVR. Easy, but we might notice that your controllers are actually floating very far away from the actual position in space. And that's where the open VR space calibrator comes handy. They should be already open in Steam VR, but you can find it also in your test bar. We select the Oculus Miramar on the left controller, that is gonna be our left hand. And on the right menu, we're gonna select the left controller, that is gonna be our left index controller. We can select very slow and then start calibration. At this point, we have to move the controllers in a way like when we're calibrating the compass on your phone. It's gonna take a while, but the menu is gonna be in front of us and be sure that the lighthouses are gonna see this movement all the time. So it's gonna be even more accurate than usual. Also, because it's tracking your hand, be sure to keep your hand pretty open. So, well, the tracking is gonna get even better and don't be too fast, so we're gonna have to beat the latency. And bam, we're gonna have our controllers. If they're not perfect, like now, you can actually click on calibration and change the position a bit to actually match it completely. Save to profile, we copy the chaperone bounce to profile, so every time we turn it on again, they're gonna be there. At this point, we can go back to our PC streaming app and disable that controller toggle that we enabled before. So we're gonna have just one pair of controllers ready and it's actually done. You have a full Steam VR headset in the Vision Pro. Is it hard to make it work? Well, not really. Should you actually do it? Well, why not? If you have all the equipment already, well, it's a nice thing to try and it's also pretty enjoyable. Should you buy the Apple Vision Pro just to play PC VR games? Hell no, absolutely no. Let me explain why. Well, as we said over here, we're actually using streaming to actually, you know, stream your games from your PC to the Apple Vision Pro because the Apple Vision Pro doesn't have any direct USB or DisplayPort connection. That means that bandwidth is gonna be limited to, you know, your Wi-Fi 6 speed at max. And also because we have a very, very high resolution with a 3660 by 3200 pixels per eye on the Vision Pro, uh, well, there's gonna be a lot of encoding and decoding needed and all of this is gonna for sure bring Unfortunately a lot of artifacts where the image is gonna shimmer a bit and the resolution is not very gonna be high enough even if you push the full resolution to feel like native for the panel. But it might be just a software thing right now. At the end of the day, we're still talking about the beta. I can't wait to actually show you all of these in the True Analysis videos that are gonna arrive. Uh, I'm gonna start to work on it uh, very soon. But yeah, the particular thing here is that we have a headset with a comfortable screen, let's say. I mean, colors are great and the lenses are pretty good. There's still some glaring issues, also plain, also the tracking is not completely perfect and the displays are a bit high persistence because they are micro OLED displays, but so far it's very enjoyable and I can wait that it's gonna look when it's gonna improve even further. Hopefully Valve will pull a Steam link like they did on the Quest platform to make it a more native support, even if the issue with the controllers will remain because, well, there's no controllers to be found over here. If so though, it makes me extra excited to when we're gonna start to see micro OLED displays on many different VR headsets with, you know, a direct connection like it happens on the big screen beyond. That for sure is a better way to enjoy PC VR games right now. Also, the Vision Pro is not really made to be used as a VR headset, so we don't have any boundary system like it happened on the Quest 3. So uh, the area where we can play with in, in the immersive mode is actually quite restrictive. So we can't really walk around as much as we want. We can swivel around, turn around, but as soon as we take a step in the direction, well, we're gonna get through like a kind of a ghosting moment where we start to see the pass through and the immersive app just starts to fade away. As you might imagine, this is not the best for immersion, that's why I see it 
apps are actually great. So flat games translated to VR actually work very well, like with the UE VR. I'm playing Little Nightmares lately and it's absolutely glorious in there. But yeah, immersion is kind of limited. I hope that Apple is gonna bring some uh, different ways to actually, like, you know, give you a bit more freedom. Also, it's pretty cool because when we start, we have the option to actually keep our hand overlay. So you can see your real hands also in your games and, uh, you know, your SteamVR environment everywhere you want. And I gotta say, it's kind of weird lining it up with the steering wheel. Uh, it's kind of fun in a way. It, but yeah, you're gonna see the latency of the tracking with the pass-through and everything starts to feel very wrong. So I will not recommend it, but it, it's a nice touch to actually have the option available. By the way, fun fact, if you don't wanna use the Steam Deck controller, you can actually use a pair of Joy-Cons and use the hand tracking to track the movement and the Joy-Cons just for the buttons. Uh, I mean, it, it's a bit clunky. It's a fun thing to do, I guess. I don't have Joy-Cons to try it on, but that's that. But yeah, here we have it. This was up to play PC VR games on the Apple Vision Pro. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you're gonna do it. Let me know if you have the Vision Pro or if you consider doing it just for these micro OLED displays with that wider FOV and very bright and very contrasty things. Let me know. So far though, trust me, you're not missing out much. It's just a cool thing to do. And uh, yeah, still enjoyable, but as always guys, if you liked the video like, if you did like this like, subscribe to the channel for more VR tech, if you really love the channel, join the button there, if you don't have them further, also the Patreon, thanks all the opinions on the channel of course, a serious next video, thanks for watching, ciao!